Hello everyone, welcome to the session on parallel and distributed databases. In this session, we'll be learning what, what, how exactly the parallel and distributed databases are working and what, is the, what are the differences and uh, similarities in these two. The learning outcomes are at the end of this session, you will be able to differentiate between the parallel and the distributed database and you can compare the two databases by uh, the various factors. We'll see what are the factors for the comparison later on. So uh, the basic performance of the major of the database, like how the databases are measured is basically by through two things. One is the throughput and another one is the response time. And what is the throughput? The throughput means what the number of tasks or the number of transactions, you can say number of queries which are completed for a given interval, for a given time. And the response time means the amount of time it is taking for uh, executing the single task. Whatever the single task we are taking, it might be a query, it might be a transaction, whatever though, so the amount of time it is taking for the execution. That is called as the response time. So the, these are the two basic factors uh, where the performance of database is measured. So if you're talking about the distributed database, you can see here that the data is uh, in this one, the data is distributed among the various sites. So site one, site uh, uh, two, site three, site four, and every site is having its own database. So the database is stored in several sites and every site is managed by its own independent database management system. That is what the distributed database is. Now, whereas in parallel database, uh, the nodes are there and these nodes might be sharing some physical resources like a processor or a memory or a data storage, something like that. So what we can say for parallel database is machines are physically close to each other and uh, they may use the same server room here and physical close means we can say that the LAN uh, is connected through, through LAN the machines are connected and multiple processors are handling the database and the database is shared through this one. You can see this diagram in this one, you can see that this is an intercommunication channel and through this one, all these nodes are communicating and there might be the sharing of these things. Now, what is the difference between parallel and distributed database? What exactly the parallel database means? Multiple processors are executing the database operations in parallel in the parallel database. We can say here multiple processors are there. Whereas in distributed database, multiple sites are working on a database among the uh, means the network. But you can see here that the networks are uh, here in parallel database, it might be LAN and uh, in the distributed one, it might be WAN. And in the parallel database, the processors are tightly coupled. Uh, they are located at a single premise. You can see that uh, different nodes are there, then they are interconnected in a single premise. Whereas in the distributed database, they are separated geographically. Uh, you can see that the sites are separated in, at various uh, locations, various uh, geographic locations, the sites are separated and the data is, database is stored on every site and they are handling their own data and globally also they are working. Now, in parallel database, as I told earlier that the nodes are connected through LAN, uh, so speed is very high as it is a LAN. And uh, for the distributed one, the sites are connected through WAN. Uh, so as uh, it is uh, through internet is there, you can compare that one that through internet, if it is there, you can say that the speed is relatively low. Basically, it depends upon the internet speed. Uh, it supports the parallel database, supports the shared resources where the resources are shared like disks are there, processors are there or uh, memory is there, so these are shared. Whereas in the distributed database, as they are uh, located separately in various locations, there is not any sharing of the resources is there. Now in the parallel database, it is supporting three types of architectures like uh, shared memory, shared disk or shared nothing. In this one memory is shared, here the disk is shared and here nothing is shared, every uh, processor, disk and memory are independently working. Whereas in distributed it is working on only one architecture that is shared nothing, it is not sharing anything, no sites are sharing anything among themselves. Now the parallel database can uh, handle the complex database queries. In the distributed one, they are working on a simple queries and uh, they are not sharing any resource. 
parallel database is maintained by a single database administrator whereas in the distributed database a separate database administration uh, administrator is there for every site as we can see that in parallel database a single database management system is handled by uh, uh, various nodes whereas in this site it is not necessary in parallel distributed database that uh, the database management system is same every site may use its own dbms for uh, its working in parallel database the nodes are uh, working on a single policy whereas in distributed the policies may be different because as various database management uh, uh, systems are working the policy may differ in this they, they may work on a single policy or they may not be usually on a different policies now pause the video and think of this scenario and answer the kind of the database architecture we need to implement here uh, the scenario one is uh, a nationalized bank is there with its various branches across the country and it has to manage its database another example is a swiggy food delivery service provider is there and how they are handling their database what is required in this whereas in the third one a, res a restaurant is there and the three sections are there in a restaurant like vegetarian section non vegetarian and bar so these three sections are working now you have to think on and you have to write the answer that what kind of database architecture is needed here to handle this kind of database the answer is in the first two scenarios where the nationalized bank is there its locations are different among the country the, in the country so it is it may use the distributed database for the same swiggy food delivery also as the delivery locations are different the uh, service providers or various restaurants are there who are providing the services so here also the data is distributed among various one so for these two scenario the distributed database is used and in the third one where the single restaurant is there and the sections are those are located in a single res restaurant and the sections are vegetarian non vegetarian and bar but even we can see that they are at a single premises so here we can handle the parallel database now the comparison between the parallel and the distributed database uh, some factors we can study here and based on those factors we are comparing here the first uh, factor is system components what are the components are there as we earlier discussed something that uh, the parallel database are geo distributed and with the low bandwidth link bandwidth link so in a single premises is there so autonomy of the site is there whereas in the distributed those are uh, uh, high bandwidth link and connected uh, and non -autom autonomic sites are there for the second comparison factor that is what are the components uh, in the parallel database uh, they those are working independently with the local transactions and working together on a global transaction whereas in a distributed database uh, they are working together for for the global transaction now for what for the, these are designed as earlier we have discussed for the parallel parallel database the basic thing is sharing of a data is important here and autonomy is local because uh, it is working under the single premises with the various nodes and because of this the availability of the data is very high so these these are the main basic motivation for designing the parallel database whereas in the distributed database the motivation is to provide high performance and to provide the high throughput now for the data distribution uh, we can say that the data is distributed in the uh, various disks so we can say that the data partitioning techniques are applied here like various data partitioning techniques are there like round, round robin hash uh, sort is there or range partitioning is there whereas in the distributed one horizontal and vertical fragmentations are used now the objective of the parallel database is to improve the performance and throughput whereas in the distributed database the objective is to provide high availability with the reliability talking about the speed of the execution as uh, uh, parallel database is there it is uh, uh, tightly coupled so it is highly available uh, so the execution speed is also high as it is connected through high speed lan whereas in the distributed one it is low because it is connected through internet so based on the internet speed the working is applicable 
and talking about the geographic location as i told that it is located at the same location in parallel database and in this distributed it is located on different sites node types obviously we require parallel in parallel database all the sites should be homogeneous because those are working on a same dbms software whereas in distributed it it is in both that is heterogeneous and homogeneous because these are work, those are working on a heterogeneous environment they may work on a single also so various dbms softwares may be used by various sites so heterogeneous environment working is also applicable for distributed database the scope if you are talking about then in parallel database difficult to expand the scope whereas in distributed as it is not fully connected and uh, uh, every site is not dependent on each other it is easy to expand overhead uh, is very low in parallel database because the communication is very high communication speed is high the number of load nodes are limited so it can be easily handled whereas in distributed the number of nodes may vary independently and many nodes are there so it may it is very high performance it is uh, low re reliable and it is highly reliable and availability is also high for distributed one backup it is at only one site and it is at multiple sites maintaining consistency it is easier here and it is very difficult so these are the references for the, my video thank you